Welcome back to Let's Play Crisis 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm here in the menu because I left off in a place where everyone wants me dead. And I thought I might take a moment to give some shoutouts here. Starting with Justin Jones, who left a comment saying, A reckoning with, Long with Lockhart has been well overdue. Fuck that guy. Also, if he thinks Alcatraz is annoying, just imagine how upset he would be if he ran into the Master Chief. <laughs> and you know, I think you're right about that. Because I was thinking about it last night, it finally sunk in. I realized that Lockhart hates Alcatraz exactly as much as he hated Prophet. He didn't even bother telling his dudes that it was no longer Prophet in the suit. And that means it isn't, you know, uh, Lawrence Barnes, R.I.P., who uh, he had a problem with. It's, quote-unquote, the man in the suit. Lockhart is just jealous! This whole time, he's just been jealous because he's the big man at Cell. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. And here's someone who comes along who is inherently better than him because of this stupid costume he's wearing. That's why he's been so blind this entire time. He just refuses to see the nano suit as anything but a threat to himself. Well, now it's going to fucking come true, buddy. Uh, KOR notes about this level. I feel like they might have infinitely spawning enemies here, and I feel like that would make a lot of sense. Uh, 1234 Andrew Jack Smith says, I mean, Hargreave does care about the suit uh, as the only hope against the Ceph, so at least as far as, you know, against Lockhart, he should be able to be trusted because Lockhart wants it uh, weak oh, wrecked, not weakened, sorry. Uh, Justin Jones asks, uh, those arcs of electricity, quick lasers? If I wasn't clear enough on that, I apologize. I was looking at an electrical substation at that moment, and uh, it had all those complicated bits of machinery in the back that I never understand. You know, so that was accurate. Except this particular substation had lightning arcing between all those complicated bits of machinery in the back, and I felt like that was way too much power that they were charging up. Uh... Oh, this is also K.O.R. who says, Watching you go full Predator is so goddamn satisfying. So thank you for that. That made me smile. Anything else in here before we get started? Uh... Oh, yes. I thought this was interesting. Roshan says, I'm not gonna be surprised if it turns out Alcatraz actually died from the virus ages ago. And the fact that the suit is even moving is only because of the AI. I mean, with how advanced it seems to be, its only limitation is probably being hollow, without a user, and unable to move on its own. So it needs a user to pilot it. And in lieu of a dead user, it probably just acts like some twisted puppet master to get the mission, whatever it is, complete. Damn! That's at an angle I hadn't considered. That's dark. Impressive. It reminds me, I found a couple of, uh, emails last time, didn't I? Oh, Justin also added, uh, Cell makes me think of that scene from Aliens, where Ripley ponders on who is worse, the Xenomorphs or the humans, and how at least the aliens aren't fucking each other over for a percentage. Ooh, that's a good call. Cell also gives me Blackwater vibes, which is more than likely no accident. Those bastards, Blackwater, got up to some shady shit in Iraq, as I recall. I did hear about that, a bunch of dead civilians or something. I think it was mentioned early on in the uh, comments on this playlist. Um, Yornick, everybody's pal, says, uh, Oh, Teddy Bear in the helicopter makes perfect sense. Remember that dead guy with a plushy friend nearby? Here's the thing. The bears are actually medics. And the dead guy was severely sedated, but very much alive. They are good guys and gals, these teddies. Never lost a patient and not planning to start. And speaking of large portions of New York City being on fire, New York is a city that never sleeps, because Manhattan keeps the light on the whole night. <laughs> oh, that is silly. Okay. Let's just take a look at these emails, then. Uh, Strickland responds... E 
Yes, I did look at this one. Lockhart Attacks N2 Program. Archives, 22nd of March, 2021, about a year after Crisis 1. From Lieutenant Commander D. Lockhart, Seattle Deployment Team, to Crynet Executive Board. Sirs, I refer you to my previous correspondence regarding Crynet's nanosuit program, and specifically the continuance of research and funding under the new N2 protocol, Stage 6. Hargreave Rash's proprietary nanotech has failed so many legal safety requirements now and so badly that the U.S. military has withdrawn its personnel from all testing in protest? Sirs, I am an American patriot and a shareholding supporter of our corporate values. What this country needs is a culture of well-trained and well-equipped modern soldiers we can be proud of. Not a Frankenstein parade of psychopaths and dead men walking in tin suits whose technical systems apparently remain a mystery even to those who build them. I respectfully reiterate my request that the N2 program be formally terminated. Faithfully, Dominic H. Lockhart, Lieutenant Commander. Okay, but I still feel like there's a hint of jealousy in there. Uh, who is this? Board Defends N2 program. 28th of March, 2021, from Crynet Executive Board to Lieutenant Commander D. Lockhart, Seattle Deployment Team. <sighs> Lieutenant Commander Lockhart, we are aware of the deeply personal nature of your grievance against the Nano Suit Program. We have no wish to reopen old wounds for you. Interesting, but we must point out that this personal element forces us to consider the possibility of your having a vendetta mentality where the new technology is concerned. At present, although the U.S. military has formally withdrawn from the N2 program, Pentagon uh, funding for our research continues in force and forms part of a substantial revenue stream for the company. Your concerns notwithstanding, the N2 program will therefore advance to Stage 7 and 8. We will inform you if this situation changes. Until then, you will please consider the matter closed. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Fire truck looks like an ambulance to me. Commander Sherman... Oh, Barclay! Colonel Sherman Barclay, even. Kind of a rad picture, like that. Alcatraz. Well, we have a bone to pick with Dominic Lockhart, whatever his reasons. So if you think it was badass when I was running around like full predator mode, let's see what happens when I actually have prey to target. Warning, scopes reduce your situational awareness, making it easy for enemies to attack you from the sides. That's actually really good information. Right, because it's focusing all your attention right in front of you with the, uh, now, even with the move. audio. Oh, right, right in the middle of things. Eliminate Commander Lockhart. What the hell is going on down there, Saffron 6? Report! Nah, I don't need attack assessment. I know where I'm going. Except right there. Oh, that's right, yeah. There was one last turn. Saffron 10, be advised. Target may be moving on your left flank. Azumi is undamaged. The EMP does not seem to have worked. Repeat, the EMP did not work. Prepare oh, to engage. Boy. Yes. I warned you, Lockhart. I told you you were out of your depth. 
More dudes in the uh, the courtyard. Bring him down. Oh fuck! They're right here. I'll just grab this gun and get out of here instead of recharging first. Kill him. They just duck back into the building where uh. I've gone in a big circle. Perfect. What I want. Let me show you what I want. Right there. Really? Jesus. Ah. One shot that was already in there. Kill him! Right, right. Prepare to move! I want his head! Oh shit! Men and you follow a man like Lockhart. Come on now. I 
killed that guy so hard he might toast Oh shit. Hi there. Full ammo, look at that. Where'd that guy go? Oh, he stayed over there. Hi there! You pay them to die well, Dominic. I've beaten the necromorphs, I've beaten the devil himself. <laughs> I've even beaten Dracula. <laughs> you really think these guys can win, even if they keep coming back, huh? Now nah, let's use the shotgun. What the hell am I paying you for? This one's for my buddies. Oh. I wanna see the color you've got, boy. He just got a whole lot more southern all of a sudden. Got some armor. Oh! He made me drain all the energy to open the Fuck door. You, Tin Man! Yeah! See you in hell. Eat several dicks. Well, Justin, uh, he came up and hit me in the head with the butt of his shotgun. He was about to do it again when Alcatraz grabbed him by the throat, picked him up, and threw him through the window. I paused before the uh, actual throw to deliver that... Uh, Invitation. And now I've got a Goss rifle. Oh! Good work, son. Now let's get you inside. I'm opening the prism entrance now. Head on over there, fast as you can. This thing blows holes through people. I think these windows are nano-enhanced. They've got the uh, hexagons and such on them. What did you fucking think was going to happen, you dipshits? No, thank you. I'm fine right here. Buddy, you should have quit while you were ahead. You're not getting paid anymore. The dude's dead. 
made sure of that. All right. All right, yeah. Wait, where the fuck? Where am I going? That way, find the prism. It's not even here. It was just that important that I kill Lockhart, yeah. And you know what? I get it. That guy sucked. God, I love those jumps. Nanovision enabled. Cell Command and Control Center. Authorized personnel only. Zone C Financial District. Pretty sure this is Roosevelt Island and not the financial district, but... Man, fuck it. hands, which means I can't be carrying this. Unlock new music. No! Alright, that's it. Perfect. Thank you, Miss Strickland. Exemplary. Check his vitals, would you then have him moved across to the skinning lab? We need to get him prepped as soon as possible. Time is very much against us. Warning. EMP shutdown. All systems impaired. Switching to core function mode. Life support priority. Warning. EMP shutdown. All systems impaired. Switching to core function mode. Life support priority. Warning. Deep layer protocols engaging. Ah. That was Prophet. Prophet is the AI. What the fuck? Are you telling me this entire time that voice has been a uh, voice modulated Prophet? Just another grunt, I'm afraid. Masks off. Prophet could have told us more. At least we have the nano gear intact. That's all that really matters. The rest I'll have to improvise once I'm in the suit. Huh. Ah, my young friend. I had hoped to spare you consciousness here, but the nano gear is not proving cooperative. Oh God. Let's get started. No! That's a lot of, uh, surgical arms, huh? Oh, those are- those of us ones that have scalpels, and those ones have lasers! Great! Fantastic! What? I am truly sorry for this betrayal, but I really have no choice. I need the suit. This particular suit, in fact, if I'm to have any hope at all of stopping the Seth. Uh, 
A simple soldier will not suffice you. the nano gear. Headshots only. Nice try, Tin Man. Now say goodnight. Strickland? Tara, no. Tara, listen to me. It's okay, you're safe. I'm CIA. Special Operations <laughs> Group. Recruited out of the SEALs three years ago. <laughs> I'm the one who ordered your squad to bring Prophet and Gould out. Yeah, screwed now, of course. All right, look, there'll be time to explain later. Right now, the Ceph are breaking into this place, and we gotta get Hargreave out. Okay. I'm Burning Dog Face. And with these revelations, I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Crisis 2, when we... get the fuck out of this place and figure out what's going on now, I guess! This is exciting. See you then, Burning Dog fans. Later!